Fritz, I've been checking out various media mechs in Battletech. Sell me on the Clint because I'm just not seeing it. I'm just not feeling it. That's what we're going to explore in this vlog. And as always, my fellow mech commanders, this idea in reviewing a mech, three ways. The first is through naturally practical experience. Is this a mech? Is this a machine that I play, that I've played on the tabletop as part of a lance, as part of a battle group, that direct tactical feedback? Second to that, and equally as valuable, is playing against certain mechs. Your best friend has a machine that they regularly play. You're part of a gaming group, a battle group. This is almost interesting in that it offers you a gaming perspective, a tactic perspective outside of your own. So you're looking at how someone else is using a machine, seeing the strengths and weaknesses that you can layer over your thoughts. So often I find when I'm exploring a new mech, it's better when I face the machine on the tabletop. But of course, playing it yourself. And then third is looking at various reviews, tactical reviews. How does this machine play? And I find in approaching that, or if you're going to review it yourself, right, the eternal question, is this a machine that I'm going to add to my mech collection? Absolutely. You're going to add everything over time. But from that perspective, building a tactic, a checklist, looking at the weapons, looking at the role, looking at it as part of a lance, looking at it individually, looking at the battle value, how does it work? How does it operate on the tabletop? So jumping in with the Clint, we've got a media mech. Uh, essentially, everything you need to know about this mech, it's very straightforward. 5.55. Five, five. Five, five, five. You've got an auto cannon 5. You've got a medium laser and a medium laser. So you have range. You've got some good long range. You've got medium range. You've got close in work. Um, essentially, you're firing 5.55 five, five, as much and as often as you can. Uh, I see the Clint as kind of a fire and forget machine. Now, it is a mixed bag. We're not an energy boat. We've got some ammo in there. This does start to become a slight problem with medium mechs. Uh, this idea of internal components of a mech, when you have inner sphere, lower tech, you've got that ammo bin, you've got that ammo feed, you get hit with a crit. It explodes, it's done. From that perspective, light mechs don't have to worry about it as much because you really don't have much armor. I'm thinking like, when's the last time my Locust or my Jenner exploded in smoking boots and just blew up? Very, very rarely if that, because usually the way the damage transfer works in Battletech, you get hit, it moves in, you get your legs blown off, you get cored out and you're done. But mediums, we, we start to see this. If you take some damage in a certain area and it punches in, having some ammo is a vulnerability. This further escalates, of course, in heavies and especially in assaults. So we have a little bit of that with the Clint. Primary weapon is that auto cannon 5. Naturally, I'm like, I want auto cannon 10. I'd like a little bit more um, weight, but for a medium mech, a primary weapon, an auto cannon 5 is about right. There are a few with a large laser. Um, you might see something with a PPC, but an autocannon 5's got some solid solidness to it. Ammo dependent, yes. Now, normally, uh, just from my experience and playing a cross spectrum of mechs, playing a Warhammer, playing a Marauder, playing archers, playing longbows, playing uh, blackjacks, a mixed bag of energy and ammo and pure energy, I rarely run out of ammo in um, a game. I, I, I rarely do. I mean, the longbows will get low once or twice they run out, but that's me firing every single turn. This, um, this machine with the primary weapon, the autocannon 5, you're going to start firing it as soon as it's in range. You're like, I didn't even crunch the numbers. I need like 12s to hit. You're going to fire it. From that perspective, ammo could potentially be a problem. You could run dry. And then what do you have? You've got two medium lasers. Now, this idea of 555, five, five, what you do have is some good armor. You've got jump. You've got speed. It has good or better than average mobility for a medium mech. That combined with this consistency of 555 five, five means it's got something to offer as soon as it's in range. You start taking that shot. You zap with the lasers. As part of a lance, it's always doing something. Um, I see the Clinton part of a lance as... It's 
working just to add a little bit of extra dice where you need it. I've got my four mechs. You've got your four mechs. We're, we're kind of skirmishing. We're battling. Do I need to pull over to the left a little bit and, and throw on a little bit more dice onto your Warhammer because it's engaging um, one of my mechs? Possibly it could do that. Do I need to chase off a light mech? Possibly I could do that. It's it's that 555 consistency firing. Now, um, in terms of holding its own against medium mechs, dedicated long-range machines uh, like the Griffin. It's kind of a sniper-type mech. And we explored the Griffin, pushed that up to the Battletech playlist here. It's, it's one of my favorite mechs, but it is very polarizing because it has that um, stock, not any variant, the LRM pack and the PPC. That at range is just going to chew down the Clint pretty fast. But if we're in City Fight, City Tech, and the Clint can close to that optimal 555 range, that's, you know, that's going to wear things down. That's got three shots. It's got redundancy. It's got some decent damage. It's not 10 points of damage, but five is, is solid, consistent over every single turn. Um, against light mechs, it's got some firepower. It's going to drive off those light mechs. Could something like a Jenner give it a run for its money? Possibly. But the Jenner does not have the armor and the heat discipline to uh, fully engage one-on-one. -on -one. So this type of mech is a one-on-one -on -one machine. I could see it going up against certain mediums, holding its own. I could see it going up against and driving lights, which is a possibility. But this is not a criticism of the Clint. We see this with a lot of medium mechs especially in the mid to lower bracket, a medium mech versus a heavy, it's, it's a whole, that's a big jump. That's a big jump. If I had to do it, I've got some zappies. I've got the auto cannon to do it, but I'd be running and gunning and I'd be looking to um, just kind of get in there, do some damage, get out, get in there, do some damage, get out, try to engage over time and, and spread that out as opposed to a direct head on one on one. So turning it over to my fellow mech commanders, what do you see this mech operating as, as part of a lance? And what do you see it operating as, um, not that we ever want to go solo, but sometimes a mech has to pull itself off or, or sometimes based on the terrain, you engage as a lance. And as the battle kind of evolves, devolves, revolves, it, it has you one-on-one -on -one against the machine over to the side somewhere. How do you see this mech operating and to what level? 